I am Elizabeth Avanti and I am a equine lecturer and internship coordinator here at the University of Kentucky. I've been in this position eight years now. So I was born and raised in Montana and I grew up just riding our friends horses and getting my fix working cattle and um, just spending time with them. So I spent my summers working at guest ranches so that I could still be around horses and then I started owning horses again when I was getting my master's degree probably when it was least affordable. After I finished my master's, I taught at Laramie County Community College for three years out in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And I did that job, I was an equine instructor there, and from there I came out actually to Kentucky. I taught for a year at the North American Racing Academy. So I taught some of their classes, and then I came to UK and I've been here quite a while since then. So, so the neat thing about equine higher education programs is they all tend to have their niche. So University of Kentucky is very science-based. We have some hands-on classes, but it's definitely a four-year Bachelor's of Science degree. In Wyoming, it was a two-year community college. It was an Associates of Applied Science degree. And um, so that was more of a training degree. So we taught students how to start colts, and that was a lot of fun. It was very hands-on, a lot of horsemanship, a lot of riding. We rode two hours a day, twice a day, every day. And then I came out here to this position where I don't teach the hands-on classes, so quite a bit of difference. So when you teach training, you get to watch horses struggle with learning. And you get to see, walk through all the stages that an educator goes through, right? You have to repeat things, you have to be very patient, you have to have a good sense of humor. And so it was one thing to do that in the classroom, but then for students to get to experience the teaching side of that, it just made it a lot of fun. So I almost think there were better students for it. And also when you're teaching something like equine science, it's just so much easier to do it when you have a horse right there that you can teach everything and talk about everything and actually manage and work with instead of just hearing it in a classroom. So I miss that hands-on part very, very much. So UK Ag Equine Programs is an umbrella program here at the University of Kentucky. So it encompasses research, extension, and education in the classrooms. It's a four-year degree. There's many different disciplines that you can do within it. There's emphasis areas that are everything from pre-vet to community and leadership development, pastures and forages, business. So there's a lot more variety out here. So my classes, I have a little bit of everything. So I teach the Introduction to Equine Science class and that is awesome. That's the first class in the major. And so I get all of the freshmen and we go through basic anatomy, we do color code genetics, we talk about industry issues. I just kind of introduce them to the field of equine science. Not just loving horses, but actually learning the science behind it. Beyond that, I teach a couple other classes. I teach a thoroughbred sales class, which is really neat. That introduces students to everything that goes on at the sales. I also teach an equine event planning class where we have the students put on the UK Equine Career and Opportunity Fair. And to our knowledge, it's the only equine specific career fair in the country, and it's also the only one put on by students for students. So that class is a lot of fun. And then I teach two career classes. I teach an introduction to equine careers. That class is really designed to introduce students to all the options that are out there, which is why I love what you guys are doing. When they come to the program, they kind of think of the top three. You can either be a veterinarian, a trainer, or a manager. And there's so many other things out there. And so our job is just to introduce them to that. And then the final class that I teach, which is one of my favorite, it's um, equine career prep. And that class is for our juniors and seniors. And we do cover letters and resumes and interviewing tips and really prepare them to apply for and get jobs. In addition to teaching, then I do the um, internship program. And with the internship program, I coordinate at least one internship for every one of our students. So I like to tell people that I live vicariously through my students. So the better internships I find for them, the more exciting things I get to hear about. So I think the first thing would probably be people skills. As much as I love horses and I love them on my own, my job is very much with people. It's with students, it's in higher education, it's with the industry, and so you have to love people. And that's it's one of the things that I enjoy. I'm very thankful for that, but it's something that there's a lot of interacting with people that come with that. I think another part of it, I would say patience. It doesn't happen overnight, you know, you do a lot of meeting with students and talking to people in the industry and going back and forth and so I think that that's a really important skill to have. I think the last thing I would honestly say is just a sense of humor. 
if you're so strict and rigid, it's going to be hard to work with college students. College students have so much energy, they have ideas, they're so fun, and I love them and that demographic, but you definitely have to be able to laugh at them, and if you're going to be a teacher, you have to be able to laugh at yourself as well. So. When I started out, my salary was um, $36,000 a year. So it was not a high salary. If you're going to go into higher education, you probably won't start out at the higher end. I had a lot of students that, I, that were animal science degrees and they were pharmaceutical reps. And I was so jealous because they had cars paid for and everything like that. So I would not say that you go into education for the money. However, if you go on and get advanced degrees, if you stay with it, if you stay at a place for a long time, I do think you get a comfortable salary. The biggest thing you get through a job in higher ed is that you get benefits. So you always have retirement, you always have health care, health insurance, you have the time off, you have some different um, benefits that go along with it. That's huge to me. So maybe it isn't money in a salary form, but the other parts of it definitely make a difference.